Well, good evening, all you awesome YouTube viewers. Welcome to another gorgeous day out here at Robin's Nest. Weather is cooperating, and we got a ton of work done today. <coughs> I, uh, I'm out here in our garden to start today, and I was able to get a good uh, amount of tilling done in between our uh, other projects. We had three different projects going at the same time. But uh, the front uh, third of the garden is going to be sweet corn. And I'm going to have that interplanted with squash and with pumpkins. And over here are our grow beds for our trees. I've covered them before. We're going to get this set up for carrots this year it's that time of year I love it we're gonna be planting carrots in this bed this year and then we got a couple beds of pig nut hickory shag bark hickory they haven't started popping up yet and uh, we've got maple in here and the one that's really taken off is a crab apple this is a plumera um, it's it looks like a plum it's sort of native to Michigan so we're gonna have hundreds of these and hopefully we get a whole bunch of them transplanted out around the property wildlife food pollinators the whole nine yards and we're gonna come on down here to our potato towers we were able to get the potatoes in today and uh, we're going to try the stack method with tires this year and we got 20 pounds of seed we got uh, a mulch layer of old rotted hay on top of the potatoes themselves the seed potatoes and then alternating layers with hay and potting soil and we got 17 of these 20 pounds of seed potatoes and we should see how they go now you're seeing this row of tires down here just want to fill anybody in now when the potatoes that are growing in here sprout to be about this high on it we'll put the other rim on the tire and fill it up with dirt and they'll re-sprout and they'll make more potatoes wow this garden looks so empty without the baby ploofs running around amazing 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 oh they did their their job though and you will be seeing them in a little bit let's check in on our turkeys 38 turkeys in here and they think I'm their daddy look at them come running to me aren't they sweet look at our babies look at our babies they come running you know I'm gonna eat ya <laughs> oh yeah we uh, we raise them for food no doubt about it but they eat really good they live freedom they're doing really, really good. I'm going to let them get a little bit bigger before I let them free range. But we are going to do something funny. We are going to keep the biggest tom that we have. Just to see how big we can get one. And we're going to continue. The... In case you didn't believe me, look at them. They're all following me. That's funny. And I don't even have food. Now, uh, we had the girls loaded up 10 bales of rotted hay. And uh, what they didn't use, they threw on the mulch pit. This mulch pit's going to fill up. And uh, in a, probably next uh, late fall, we're going to have this on the garden. It should be something else. So... And I want to bring this over here to everybody. And I want to show you something kind of cool. Something kind of amazing. 
And if anybody that watches our videos can notice something, we're missing something. We are missing what we call the scrap. All this year's babies. They're about 13 weeks old. And they're no longer in the orchard. The only thing we got out here right now are ducks, geese, and last year's chickens. And you can tell it's summer. They're starting to roost in the tree again. I love it. They can roost up in there all they want. Hey, there's Mary way up there. You guys doing good up there, girls? It's so quiet in here. Now, uh, just an update on something. Um, all the eggs that the mama goose was sitting on were bad eggs. And we had to remove them, but she doesn't know that yet. And she's still sitting on the nest. If anybody's got any ideas on something to get her off the nest permanently, because this isn't helping her stay healthy sitting on a nest with no eggs she just won't leave but she's uh giving it her go but there was just too much confusion and everything for the eggs to be viable and i feel bad for her because i think she would have been a pretty good mom but there's no eggs in the nest anymore and of course here's miss amber and mama red they were sitting on a bunch of duck eggs and there was too much chaos and we had to take those eggs out too. They were bad and oh, they're just good mamas. Good broody hens. And update also, um, our mama jersey who hatched out seven Americunas, they're in the house. They're doing good, and she's so good, she's not even uh, aggressive with us. She come, We go in there to check on her, and she coos and clucks at us, and it's really neat. She's a good mama. Hey, everybody, it's Bob. Here's our rooster. Hey, Bob. What's hanging, Bob? How you doing, Bob? But as you can see... We have no baby scrap out here. And I don't think we're going to be able to put the orchard in this year, unfortunately. We're just going to have to do it next year. But let's go over and take a quick look and see. Hey, Bob, can I come by? Thank you, buddy. He's a good rooster. He's a pain in the neck. My goodness, they're way up there. Let's go take a look and see where everybody's at. Such a lovely day out. My mother-in-law and Grandma Kay came out. They brought a friend of theirs from Barnes & Noble Book Group. And we're all out here having a good old night with pizza and a fire. Hi, Grandma Kay. Hey, Mom. Hey, everybody. And here's Yippy and Yappy. Hey, don't go Yippy and Yappy. Hey. I mean, I got like Yippy and And, of course, there's the most energetic, voiceless, and gregarious individual this side of Oscar the Grouch. With her nose stuck in a book. <laughs> hey, Katie. I can still hear. Katie. 24-23. She had an epic game of softball yesterday for her school. And they ended up coming from behind. They were down 16 to 2. And then it was like 20 to 7. And they came back and won 24-23 in the bottom of the seventh inning. It was epic. She ended up being 7 for 9 was with eight RBI and six scored runs well here's where all the scrap are da, 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 da. the completed chicken palace minus the roosting boxes and here they are 
And we got all the scrap in here with a feeding station for them. We got water tanks for them in here. Although those aren't going to be permanent, we're going to have water stations outside. We've got one right now, but we need to get more. Oh, and there's Nugget. He's one of the two Golden Lace Wyandotte uh, Bantams that we got. And they're beautiful birds, but man, they're just worthless to us. But we keep them on. And we go through the gap of Rohan. And out we go. And here we go. Out in the natural setting. They're just having a ball. Let's see if they follow me. I fed them earlier, but... <laughs> yep, they're following me. Robin? That's funny. But as you can see, they're getting they're getting back in here. They're turning up the the vegetation. They're just having a ball. They're eating really good. They got the natural setting. And here's our electric fence and fencing protecting them. Yes, I'm being followed. That's really cute. But I just wanted to give everyone an update on our. Uh, chicken adventure out here in the great woods but the fence goes all the way back and they've been back just about to the back fence you can tell because this is all tore up they're hunting for worms and bugs and grubs greenery i i am really happy for our birds i'm not a tree hugger crazy liberal but I'm not going to mistreat our birds, and I believe you can taste the difference later. Well-rounded diet. The feed that we do use is from Miller's Feed, non-GMO layer mash, and then they get all this extra nutrition out here. If you're going to have animals, folks, treat them right. I, I hate seeing the mass-produced factory farms i know why they do it and i can't i can't argue with it i mean it does make eggs and meat cheaper and it's a need to have protein in the diet so don't get me wrong but robin and i are blessed to have this opportunity and i really hope we do good selling eggs because we can't donate eggs if we don't raise enough money to feed them Oh. They got paths. They got paths made through the blackberries and the raspberries. But, oh, who's watching the watchers? It's Kay! <laughs> it's Sam <David. laughs> Day. It won't be too long till they're up in the apple tree. They've already started uh, going up in here into the white pines. And we got several throughout. They're a roosting animals, so this is going to be really good for them. Now, for future reference, the black Jersey Giants that you see running around, we bought those all at the same time, and those were hatched February 12th. The scrap flock that you hear us talk about, those are all the week before that. So every bird out here is 12 to 14 weeks old now. 
and they're doing good. We have some health issues with some of the birds, but we're taking care of it as best as we can. And hopefully they uh, thrive out here. <coughs> Tell us about it, Nugget. He's a beautiful bird. Worthless, but beautiful. All right, everybody. Have yourself a good evening and uh, be kind to each other and do the best as w with what you got. Have yourself a good night. Bye.